I wanted to do this little gift bag first because I think these are wonderful little gifts for people. And the papers in this collection are absolutely something else, Joe. So I, really I want to show you how to do this because you'll love it, right? I love now, that the papers are thick enough to be able to do this sort of thing with them as well. Oh, they, ju they just... Well, you'll see when you start working with it. And, and I think... Faye, if, you, if you've heard us talking about Faye, guys, that is Faye, she's our surface designer. So she does all of these lay downs. She's just gone to another level. With, the, with this paper, band, it's another level to anything I've seen from any company in our industry, not just us. So, right, make a note of these. If you want to do the little gift bag, okay? I want you to start with your scoring board and I want you to make a note of these measurements as we're going, okay? So we're going to start off, first of all, score at one and three quarters, right, along here. So this is the 12 by 12. I haven't trimmed it down. I've tried to design this straight from a 12 by 12 sheet for you. So one and three quarters, and then turn it right around and do two inches at the bottom, right? So that is the bottom of your piece with the two inches, and the one and three quarters is what we're going to make as the top, right? So then from the top, I want you to score at four inches, right? Four inches here and also five and three quarters, right? So four inches and then five and three quarters. Then fold it over, give it a little bit of a crease, right? Turn it back the other way, butt up the crease. Look how gorgeous the underside is, by the way. Butt mm. up the crease, Joe, same again, right? So four inches and then five and three quarter inches, right? So that's all of the scoring that you need to do. Four inches, five and three quarters, right? Now I'm going to just, all of these, I always like to fold it away from itself and give it a bit of a crease first. And then once it's folded away, you can fold it back in and off on itself and it, um, and it doesn't crack. So if you've ever wondered how to get this to not crack, that's how you're going to fold it over this way and fold it back, right? Now, little tip, if you want to do what I've done here on the top, you absolutely need to fold that top over before you start gluing, you okay? So fold that over like that. Now, scissors, here's what we're gonna do. At the bottom jaw, cut out your little notches in each of these. Amazing, we had a three pack of scissors on the show yesterday, it's still there. Make sure you go and check those out. They genuinely are the best scissors I've ever, ever used. All right, come straight along there, and then I'm gonna come down here like this and just cut that off, right? So there is how we're gonna do our gift bag together. This piece here, if I get my tape pen, I'm going to fold this over, Joe, and stick this down like that. There she goes. And then this one here down the side, so that when this folds over, this is going to fold over and then connect down the side like this. Right? So that is the start of the gift bag. And then at the sides, you're just going to fold the two sides in. We're going to pop tape on the first piece and seal How it up. How easy is that? How easy is that? Do you know what? I've done the, um, I've glued it upside down. Just need to trim it a tiny bit off there because it was two inches at the top, one and three quarters at the bottom. And you, if you haven't worked out, your gift bag's only one and three quarters. So you should have the two inches at the top and the one and three quarters at the bottom. That's how I've done it there. That gift bag just falls together then at the top. Absolutely wonderful. So right? easy. Little porky tool. Uh, she says, optimistically, we will find a porky tool at some... There's one. Do you know, it's all these craft experts in. It's absolutely <laughs> bedlam at the moment, isn't it, right? And you're just going to just literally put a little hole through each of these, jaw. Or if you've got like a... Um, oh, what's the word? Hole punch? Yes, that would be even easier. That is exactly the word, Joe, <laughs> that I was after. I got you, don't Funnily worry. enough, if you want to punch a hole, guys, you could get your hole punch out. Right, through there. Now, that's the bag. The bag was just the first part of my demo because what I actually want to do, Joe, is do the form flowers. I imagine you could make so many of those up. I mean, you could make 36 of those up using that 12 by 12. Gift bag. From one paper pad, you could make 36 gift bags in that style, all beautifully matching. For 14 99 Yeah, amazing, isn't it? I mean, it? I don't even know. I would, Johnny might be able to work on the calculator what that is per gift bag. It's like Not nothing, much. guys. It <laughs> really is. For not, right, so 36 gift bags you make for 14 99 About 30 pence. 30 pence a gift bag. And let's face it, that's not if you're like a platinum member or you're getting them at the discount. If you get this in your mega bundle, you're getting 25% off that price. Of course you are. There we go. Right, so there's my little gift bag made. You remember the measurements, guys? Three, one and three quarters at the top, two inches at the bottom, and then we're going four, five and three quarters, fold, four, five and three quarters, glue it together. Super quick, and it's a different gift bag to what I've made before. Right. 
we're form flowering. This is our flower forming form and I know we're getting a lot of newbie people watching for the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain for you how it works, right? You're going to use all of your form flower forming dyes and I'll get Joe because he's got the boards over there now to show you all the different ones that we've got in the end. But I'm using the rose. So what I've done is I've cut them out using um, the dye, the dye cut machine. And these are brilliant, by the way, through your mini. So I like to cut a few of the big ones few more of the little ones and I've also cut a few of the uh, the leaves right so we've got everything ready now you need very specialist equipment you need an, an iron. iron right don't this, this one was under a tenner it was just a cheapy one right hot as you can get it right so I always have it turned up right really really hot um, in the studio, we keep a one just for doing foam flowers. At home, I actually use the one that we iron the clothes with, right? Doesn't much iron gets done in my house, it seems. My husband's watching, they'll be laughing and going, who irons the clothes? We've got more people um, saying they haven't made foam flowers <gasps> and saying they have made foam flowers. Right, okay, you are going to go absolutely bananas when you see this, guys. And if you only buy one thing today, get yourself the foam flower making kit. But actually, if you get the mega bundle, it's in the foam flower making kit. We also do, you can use any foam. Um, we've got some lovely ball tools and the ball tools that come with the foam. Now, it's all on the website. All of our core tools are on three for two and birthday weeks. So if you need any of this equipment, it's all on the website, right? What we're going to do is we're going to create like a bunched effect. So if you look at one of those pieces, it's just flat at the moment, right? Just totally ordinary, right? I'm going to keep it turned around so our lovely Charlotte can show you up close. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, we're going to place it on the iron, and watch how it reacts straight away as soon as you start touching it, right? Then we drop it on to the foam. And I like to ship, so don't leave it there, right? Because if you leave it, it's going to dry exactly however you... It's not going to dry, it's going to cool exactly how you left it. So now I've got it to that. I'm happy for it to cool like that. Look at it. A minute ago, it looked like this. Now it looks Incredible. like that. Just from touching it on the iron. That's all you're going to do with it. A little bit later, I'll use some of them shimmering on these there's guys. There's lots of different systems out there, isn't there, Sarah? I think what I love about our system is that you do heat set it. And as far as I can see, and as far as I've been able to tell before, it makes your finished projects much more robust. You know, yes. I just keep teasing them and blasting them with the heat tool or coming back to them. You know, we've got samples, haven't we, of foam flowers that are two, three, four years old now. Yes. That are still as good move. as the day they were made. Yep. Now, watch what I do with these. This is brilliant. So this is one of the leaves. And all you do is touch it on the end tiny little bit and then that heat just makes it shape Perfect. and curl right so same again i'm going to touch it just on the end of the iron and it gives that lovely curvature i'm going to tell you now you're never ever ever going to buy ready-made flowers again you're just always going to make them all right now here we go i'm going to start and put this together joe right i'll tell you what i'm going to do i'm going to pop this on here oh this is a well-loved one isn't it i saw leanne yesterday with craig's that was, I was watching that show, uh, I was watching it back late last night and I was having an absolute bit of giggle when she was trying to stamp without having the, uh, without having the base down there. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some little bits of glue. I'm going to start with the biggest one and we just put a tiny little bit of glue in the middle, right? And then we come and pop the f next layer of the flower in, right? So I'm just popping that into there and make sure it's moved around a little bit. I'm going to do the same again. We're getting a tiny bit closer, I think, Charlotte, and everybody can see lovely. And that one's going to go in there. So this is like, a, I call it a cuppy flower, right? So all I'm doing, it's got no stamens in. So I'm just popping these bits in though, Joe, and I'm sticking it in because we're going to have like a little rosebud in the centre. Right? If you're watching this as well and thinking, gosh, I'm not about to remember this, remember, we've got hours of flower forming masterclasses available on the website. Whilst the foam is different and, you know, the dye style is different, all the techniques, as long as you know the techniques, it's the same technique, isn't it, Sarah? Always, always the same technique, guys. Always dead easy, right? So tiny little bit of um, glue in there, and I'm popping the next one in. Can you see it? They're starting to cup round already, and then I'm getting smaller, so I've used some of the large one, some of the medium ones, and then once we get start getting into the real small ones, it's actually forming that lovely bud. Just be careful because I'm not, I'm, you're, you won't be rushing like I am guys. I'm rushing and I'm getting a little bit of glue on here. You won't need to do that. Uh, I'm going to go right in there with a tiny little one in the middle and actually that is going to form me a lovely little bud in the centre and that is how you do it. Yes, Beautiful. that's in there. That so is how we do it. full aren't they? Oh gorgeous is that? 
And you've just watched me make that literally live from scratch right in front of your eyes. Now, let's bring the whole project together, all right? So if I bring in my gift bag, let's do a little bit of decoration with the gift bag, okay? So what I've got, Joe, is I've used, oh, you know that die that I told you I was using loads? This is it here, right? I am literally using that all the time. Now, my top tip is cut two of them out, all right? So I'm just, I've cut one out in white and one out in that lovely, like, burgundy shade. And then what I'm doing is I'm just bringing this, layering it up on here so it creates a little bit of a shadow. And then once we've got that shadow created, I'm going to use a couple of little blobs. Eh, do I, want to use, I think, yeah, I'm going to use a couple of little blobs in my glue gun. I bet that just would look lovely, Sarah, with a photo cut with the same dye and pieced back in the centre. Oh, you want to use it hey. on something like a scrapbook. That would be a lovely idea. Look at that there. So I'm just sticking that at the side so it gives me a little bit of manoeuvre at the top and bottom. And then I've done a couple, so there's the flower that I've done. I've got a couple of these flowers. I'm going to go two flowers. I've done a tiny, weeny little bud. I've got a couple of bits of this. And all I'm going to do, Joe, is I'm going to just kind of position them all together and stick everything down. Amazing. Let's have a little look then what people are saying in the comments because people are, are absolutely loving it uh, over on socials. Uh, let me just find the Silver says, I, uh, where are we? Uh, Silv says, uh, sorry, Singing D says, I'm playing my flower dyes and foam for a while. I've got to get them back out. Today is the day. Today is the day, uh, guys. I hope I've inspired you. Uh, Sally uh, has got their order placed as well. Also, the stamp cleaning station. I've got that on the show for you. I'll share that with you in a bit. We've been loving that. Uh, Sarah did her food shop in record time in order to get back for this show. That is dedication. Uh, Lisa is uh, really loving the show. Sarah likes my jumper. Thank you. She likes your dress as well. It looks ah, very cosy. Well, thank it you. Is very cosy. I'm like a big green care bear today. Um, and also Amanda's gone for it. Connie, Claire all got their orders in as well. Lots of you ordering at the moment. I will give you an opportunity to check out your baskets fairly soon. I know you don't want to miss anything that Sarah's sharing with us. You'll get an opportunity to check out in just a couple of minutes. Oh, look at that. Stunning, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I love it. You know, when you just make something and you're like, yes, I've absolutely nailed that. Mm. I, I love the little gift bag. That's perfect for like a few little handmade truffles, a little soap, so a little box of jewellery, but then adding them foam flowers. But you see what I mean, Joe, about needing this lovely frame? Yeah. I just think it's beautiful. Mm. 